While Corsair are mainly known for making a massive range of PC components and peripherals, as we've seen before, like in my review of the Platform 6 desk for example, they make almost everything you could want for your gaming setup. They've released a few chairs in the past like the T3 Rush and the TC100, but I've never had a chance to look at those models in person. So with that in mind, today I'm taking a look at their latest chair, the recently released T500 Lux. Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome to Kit Guru. So this that I'm sitting on is the T500 Lux gaming chair from Corsair, a pretty premium offering featuring a quilted finish, adjustable lumbar support, OmniFlex armrest and a detachable magnetic neck pillow. The chair comes in three different colours, Frost, which is the model I'll be taking a look at today, Shadow, a black stealthy looking model, and Sherwood, a green, very green finish, obviously taking inspiration from Robin Hood's neck of the woods, pardon the pun. Picking up a T500 Lux will set you back £499 and 99p. Now that's a fairly premium price for a chair. It's nowhere near the most expensive chair that I've ever looked at, but 500 quid is a fair chunk of change, so it's got to deliver quality to match its pretty lofty price tag. Starting as I always do with the design then, I'll start by saying the T500 Lux is a very, very nice looking chair. And while I appreciate that's very subjective, just look at it, it's beautiful. The backrest and seat base are both covered in a very soft touch material. This material is quite deceptive. It looks like leather, but it feels a lot like suede to me. It's got a fine dappled pattern when you look up close, which helps with the leather imitation look that Corsair are going for. The sections on the backrest and seat base that come into contact with your body both have a quilted double stitched diamond finish, which adds a bit of luxury to the overall look and feel of the chair. There is branding there, but it's been kept quite clean and quite minimal. There's a pair of black stitched Corsair logos on the front and back of the headrest, along with some silver stitched Corsair branding on the front and back of one side of the backrest. I quite like the branding on this chair, to be honest. The colors pair quite nicely, and overall, it's not been overdone. Corsair include a magnetic head cushion, as I mentioned, which is finished in a really soft velour type material. The contrast between the black cushion and the white chair looks pretty good. The shape overall of the chair is very racing seat styled, which is definitely going to divide opinion. The backrest has some pretty substantial contouring and, and wings, which curve around your shoulders and your sides. This design continues down to the seat base, which has bucket seat styling on each side with slight curves protruding upwards. More on how that affects the comfort a little bit later on. The OmniFlex armrests on the T500 Lux have the same curvy design as the rest of the chair. There are no sharp angles or corners and the tops are finished in a soft black, slightly textured rubbery material. As far as looks go, and to reiterate what I said earlier, I absolutely adore the looks of the T500 Lux. In my opinion, it strikes the perfect balance between what we're used to seeing in typical office and gaming chairs. It's a nice middle ground. It doesn't look tacky like some gaming chairs can, and it looks quite professional, but then it is still quite comfortable, and it's not going for the full-on ergonomic design. Let's move on to talk about that comfort in more detail then, as well as the adjustability. The first thing I noticed when I first sat down on this chair is the firmness. The seat cushioning is quite rigid, particularly towards the front where the backs of your legs will be making contact with it. And that's by no means a bad thing at all. I quite like it, to be honest. It feels like a good quality chair when you sit in it. It'll more than likely soften up over time, but only having had the chair with me for a few weeks, we'll have to wait and see. Now I'm quite a big bloke as you can see, I'm roughly six foot tall and I found the T500 looks to suit my build quite well. It's a big and wide chair and it will be well suited to people of 
all shapes and sizes. If you've got a smaller build, you'll likely feel like you're sitting on a throne, to be fair. The seat base in particular is great. It's 59 centimeters wide and 50 centimeters deep, so it's plenty big enough for me. The backrest also has fit me pretty well, being 80 centimeters high and 55 centimeters wide. Here's a quick graphic showing the rest of the measurements if you want to check any of that stuff out. And it also shows on there that the max recommended user height is up to 188 centimeters, and then that weight goes up to 120 kilograms. I've sat on this chair for some pretty lengthy gaming and work sessions and I've found it to be pretty comfortable after I'd adjusted it and set it up to how I liked. Speaking of that adjustability, here's everything you can tinker with and change on the T500 looks. In terms of height, the chair is adjustable at the gas lift by 10 centimeters with a seat from the floor distance range of between 42 and 52 centimeters. If you find yourself wanting to chill back to watch the latest Kit Guru video, then the chair has got you covered there. It's got a, a tilt range of between 90 to 160 degrees, but be careful because the first time you go full chill mode, you'll pull a face like Phil Jones because your life will flash before your eyes. I do that on every single chair that I test. The lumbar support is also fully adjustable. There's a knob on either side, one for adjusting the height and one for adjusting how much the support like sticks out into the bottom of your your back your lower back the lumbar support is good to be honest it reminds me of the lumbar support found on the master gaming chair from Bullies that i reviewed a while ago now while i say that lumbar support is good i've still been running the chair with it almost completely retracted most of the time because of one key missing feature seat depth adjustability this is a big big miss on this and any chair that doesn't have it in my opinion without this feature the lumbar support when it's fully extended makes it feel like it's pushing me too far forward on the seat base hence why i've been running with it either flat or with a very slight amount of it of that protrusion of the support itself someone with a smaller build would likely not have this issue though so it's not so bad the head cushion i suppose you could call it adjustable it attaches magnetically so it can be moved slightly when you mount it but if i'm honest it it's not great the cushion itself is good but it sits so far behind your head and neck that it's pretty pointless it's i feel like it's kind of there just to to look good really and finally, the 4D Omniflex armrests have all of the adjustability that you'd want. They go up and down, forwards and backwards, and rotate by 215 degrees. Now that rotation is a bit more than we're used to seeing, and it's pretty useful. If you turn them the opposite way to they're supposed to be, the ends are angled upwards slightly, which has suited my desk setup pretty well. Keeping my forearms off of my glass mouse mat in this weather has been a bit of a game changer. Build quality is good on the most part, but some things do disappoint me slightly on the T500 looks. The stitching, cushioning, and main seat base and backrest are particular highlights. The finishing feels very premium and high-end all around. The armrests are fairly good. Well, one of them is at least. The right one seems to wobble a bit more than the left one. The wobble seems to be coming from the pre-assembled part as opposed to the bit that I had to attach when I was building the chair. So I can rule out it being due to me not attaching it properly. The left one is very good though. Maybe the sturdiest I've seen on a gaming chair. So if they could get them a bit more uniform, they'd probably be the best armrests I've used. The controls all feel good and adjusting the chair feels robust, but there's a slight creaking noise coming from the plastic covers on the left hand side when you tilt back. I've tried taking this cover off and adjusting how tightly it's screwed to the other cover that it connects to, but the noise is there whatever I do. The gas lift on the chair feels great. It's very solid and has never felt dodgy in the slightest when I've been sitting on the chair. The five spoke base is powder coated metal, which was nice to see. and something which kind of has to be expected on a chair at this price point, I guess. The casters attached to that base are 65 mil in diameter and made from a hard plastic, probably some sort of nylon. I couldn't find any specific information online, so I'm hazarding a guess there. But when I first put the chair together, they were quite scratchy on my hard floor and they would kind of skate across it instead of actually rolling. This has improved over time though and they've, they've freed up a little bit, but they do work much better on carpet I've found. Putting the chair together was very straightforward and I easily managed to solo it. 
There's not too many parts to deal with. Attaching the armrests was probably the most finicky part, but it wasn't anything major. And just like the Platform 6 desk from Corsair, they ship all of the screws and all of the spare parts and stuff in labelled bags, which makes it much simpler to find what part you're looking for while running through the assembly. So then the T500 Lux from Corsair is without a doubt a really good looking chair. Probably the best looking chair I've ever used or reviewed, to be honest, but that's a personal preference thing. The quilted finish is very, very nice to the touch and coupled with the minimal branding, it just makes the whole package just look great. But it's not all plain sailing. The chair is let down slightly by a few things that could be better in the build quality department. The uneven armrests for one, while that is a minor issue, they should really be uniform on a chair that costs this much. The creaking from the plastics, which is likely due to a moulding difference leading to the tolerances being slightly off. If these covers were metal, it wouldn't be an issue. And then there's the casters. They don't feel great on hard floor and they can sometimes get a bit scratchy. But that is one issue that's been improving over time, but I still had to mention it. And to, to finish this sort of compliment sandwich though, the overall experience of sitting on and using the chair has been good. It's well suited to someone with a bigger build like me. The width of the seat base in particular is great. Overall, it's a great looking chair that feels comfortable, but it could do with being a little bit better in the quality control department. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like down below if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw and you want to see more reviews. If you go down below the video, you'll find links to our merch store, our Discord server, our Patreon page, and our website if you want to check any of that stuff out. Let us know in the comments what you think of the Corsair T500 Lux chair and what chair you're currently using. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt. This has been the T500 Lux that I'm sitting on right now from Corsair. I'll speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. See you later.